Hi, I'm Eileen from ETSP from home. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you this Philips anti antigen Power Pro Do. It's a two-in-one lithium hand stick vacuum cleaner. Um, it's also cordless. So the model number is FC6168. So what it does is that you can either use it at itself or you can take it out as a handheld uh, vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to open up the box, show you every different part of the vacuum cleaner and then show you how I use it and uh, what I think about it. Inside the box, you have the vacuum cleaner, the power point and the cable attachment for the wall, instruction and a extension for the handheld vacuum cleaner. So the only thing that you need to fix in here is the handle itself. Um, as you can see, it comes with this screw here, right here. And all you need to do is to place this, try to tuck in the cable, and then push this right in here, and put in your screw, and tighten it. You can either use a coin or use um, a screwdriver, um, a cross screwdriver to uh, tighten it. Okay? So I want you to... Let, uh, I'll tighten it later and I'll love to show you this is where you put in your charger so now I'm gonna get the charger and show you so there it goes in here okay the charging this come with a cable tidy wall accessory so place your cable in here so place the nozzle in here and then place this 53 cm above the ground like this. It does come with the plug and the screw. Um, of course, it's, if you didn't want to uh, put your uh, cable permanently on the wall, it's fine. I'm not using it. But it's quite a nice little thought to put your cable in one place. So when it's fully charged, you can see that it lit up all three green lights. So before, uh, when it's empty, it will be amber and then it will slowly uh, shown two bar of green light and then three bars, which is fully charged So let's take a look at the handle here. It's a smooth surface. It has some um, Rough grips here so you can just grip it and the on off button is here And if you need to max the suction, this is the place where you press it So let's turn around here and show you the back of the uh, vacuum cleaner this comes with a handheld um, extension here so you can see there's a groove here so what you do is to place this in to uh, hook it at the back here like this now take a look at the canister itself um, it's such a beautiful color and as you know that this is a two-in-one handheld vacuum cleaner uh, this can be removed from here it also comes with um, a brush that is um, attached at the back of the um, vacuum cleaner so what you do is you slot this in like this okay for you to um, vacuum it so if you want to brush or don't want to brush you can just press it and uh, you know use it with or without so now I'm just gonna remove it place this back first okay so let's take a look here at the side here there's this filter button is for you to uh, remove the whole canister um, but of course, um, you only wash your filter once a month um, But if you need to remove any dirt from here, what you do is press these two buttons on the side here To remove half of the canister And um, you can take this off like this And then throw whatever rubbish is in here um, It did have a maximum uh, line here to tell you that once it's filled up, you have to uh, chop you know, Otherwise the suction is not very good. So now let's position this and place it back first uh, Next I'm going to show you Okay, It's quite easy to push it in um, to remove the whole filter. So Pull this button and this should come out easily Okay, and um, again this have this filter that you can wash so if the suction is not great, you can wash this uh, Probably will take 24 hours to dry So you must make sure that it's dry before you uh, place it back And it comes with this Which 
can also be wash, hand wash it. So let's remove it and uh, see. Right, it's a bit tough, but it can be removed like this. And the canister to remove. So you can remove literally everything and wash it. So let's place it back again. Okay, so just gonna align it properly like that. Click it. And with this, I need to make sure that I align it with the slot here. So just when I slot it in, this should go in. And next is to put in the filter. Right, so everything is tight now, and I'm gonna place this back. So, okay, so now it's click. Next, I'm gonna show you is the brush. So this is the base of the vacuum cleaner. As you can see, the wheels is um, slightly rubbery, which is quite nice. And uh, over here, you can open this up like that. Press this button, and you can remove the brush to uh, remove any hair from here. So you can see the groove here. You can put your scissors in and cut the hair from here. So now let's place this back. Okay, and then just close it like this. So this is how the brush look like at the back here. Okay, now I'm gonna charge it and uh, try them out. Now I'm gonna put it on. You can hear the sound. So it's um, quite clean on the side here. Now I'm gonna put it on max. Okay, now I'm gonna test it out on the carpet. Let's turn it on. Okay. Quite easy to uh, slide it. No resistance, which is great because um, it makes vacuum on the carpet so much easier. And you can see it can move around so smoothly. And it can go right in deep. Let's turn it on on the max and hear the difference. And hear the instant power that they have. Again, there's not much of um, resistance on the carpet itself, which is brilliant. After using it for some time, I really enjoy using this. This vacuum cleaner um, is definitely great for families because sometimes you just want to vacuum a small area or you just need a handheld to grab all the crumbs that your kids have left everywhere in the house. Um, it has good power. There's two settings which is the on-off button and the max for the whole vacuum cleaner itself. And um, if you use it on carpet, use it on hard floor, it's excellent. Um, there's not much of resistance, especially using it on the carpet. It's so simple that I slide it through, it's smooth, and um, it vacuums every single corner. Another great thing about this is the brush itself. It's quite thin, so it can get into um, gaps like the sofa, the bed, and it gives you extra um, space to go into the underneath it and to vacuum it. So it's excellent because some of the uh, vacuum cleaner are quite chunky and you quite hard to reach those area and um, for the handheld it only come with one setting and it's really powerful it's sort of in between the on off button and the max so it only have one you just need to click it and you can hear the, the difference in the suction it's give you a quite a good power so it's quite handy I mean the vacuum cleaner, it's, uh, the handheld vacuum cleaner itself. This head is quite boxy, but I think it's it's all right. Um, I use it on the brush. I can get into all the corners on the um, steps, and it's really really good because it gives you a good suction on every corner. And this is 
um, quite easy to slide in. It, there's no clips on here, but it's, you just need to slide it in and then just adjust your brush. Um, it's vacuum. It's so it, it's quite um, a lightweight. It wasn't that heavy, so you can use it on a staircase, use it on your computers, your keyboard, anywhere. So it's quite good. Um, I enjoy using this vacuum cleaner because of the function itself. It's great for um, family like us because um, I can use use it on a hard floor carpet anywhere else because it's cordless. And next is the handheld. My kids can just uh, take this out and then vacuum all the little crumbs. So if you are looking for things like that, this will be a great choice for um, getting this uh, vacuum cleaner. So if you have any question, do pop by on my comment page and let me know and I'll try to answer back as soon as possible. So bye for now.